With Modern Horizons 2, there are so many different types of cards, and not all of them are available in every type of booster. So we're going to dive into that today, explain where you can get these all, and then talk at the end about what type of boosters are worth buying. Steve with Magic Mental Money, we're diving into draft set and collector booster boxes, explaining which type of cards are available in each product. So I've made this spreadsheet. So because we have so many different treatments of cards and then different printings of regular foil and etched foil potentially available for the different treatments, what I did is made a little legend here. So if a card is available in a product in regular printing, it'll have an X. If a card style is available in a product with a regular foil printing, it will be a Y. And then if for etched foils, those will have a Z, which there's only a couple of etched foils in the set, so it won't, not too much there. Starting off easy with borderless cards. These are available in draft set and collector boosters, and they are available in all three sets in both regular and foil printing. Retro frames for Modern Horizons 2 cards. These are available in all three products again, but it gets a little tricky. So in draft and set boosters, these are available in regular printings and foil printings. But then in collector boosters, there's actually no regular. So you're only going to get retro frames in collector boosters that are either foil or etched foil. So pretty nice there. That's a win for collector boosters. Sketch cards get the universal availability. So in all three types of boosters, they're available in both regular and foil, regular foil. Now, extended art cards, these are different than the borderless cards. These are extended art, alternate arts, and they are available only in collector boosters in both regular and regular foil, no etched foils there. So again, something that's exclusive to only the collector boosters. One of the weirder printings of the set is that we have Modern Horizons 1 cards available in this set, but only in retro frame and only in collector boosters. So we're seeing there's definitely some exclusivity to these collector boosters, uh, while not as bad as I initially thought it would be. Uh, you know, there are a lot of great cards that are available in draft and set boosters of retro frames and foilings. Uh, collector boosters definitely still have that premium of there are some card types and some cards with the MH1 cards that are only available in collector boosters. Retro fetch lands, this one definitely surprised me when I first heard that it was available in all boosters, which is great. They should be. This is a very expensive premium product, so it's good that you can get these in every booster, but again, you can get them in regular, foil, regular and regular foil printing for a draft and set, but then in collector boosters, you're only going to see these in both regular and etched foiling. So there won't be any regular uh, printings in collector boosters, only foils and then the etched foils too. I bring up basic lands only because they chose some really beautiful pieces of art for these and they are available in both regular and regular foils in all three types of boosters just like you would expect, but there's also going to be etched foils available for these in collector boosters. And last but not least, the set boosters have a couple of unique offerings in the art cards, which will be available in both regular printings and then full regular foil with the signature stamp, and then also the list cards available in, available in regular printing only in set boosters. You got all that? Was that confusing at all? Not a bit? Yeah, that's why I had to make a spreadsheet and it took me like an hour to do this. Crazy, this is very confusing, so hopefully this is helpful for you. Lastly, it's worth talking about the number of rares and mythics you can expect from each booster pack. This is something that's pretty unique, and talk about that in conjunction with the prices of these booster boxes. So draft boosters can have between one and three rare slash mythics in every pack, which is pretty good because we have the, of course, the rare slash mythic slot, and then we have the new to modern reprint slot, which can have a rare in it, and then we also have the foil slot, which can have a rare in it. So definitely potential to get three rares or mythics, which is obviously not going to happen very often, but the potential is there. But you could expect one or two of these, you know? So, I mean, in a box of 36 packs, you're probably going to get between, eh, you know, 40, maybe even all the way up to like 45s, probably on the high end of rares or mythics. Not bad. And this can be yours for the low, low price of $300. Now, set boosters are really interesting because you could potentially have up to four rares or mythics plus the list slot. So technically, you could get five rares or mythics in a single pack. Is that even out there? I don't know. The probability of this happening is next to zero, but man, would it be cool? Like if you open a pack like that, how exciting is that? Uh, but realistically, you can expect at least 58% of the packs, right? Yeah, 58% of the time will have two or more, which is pretty significant. So again, a box of these is gonna cost you 270 and you get 30 packs, but with over half of them guaranteeing at least two or more, you're looking at, you know, 50? Right, like 50 rares or mythics, that's pretty solid.
Now for collector boosters, you are gonna get four rare slash mythics in every single pack. Sometimes foil, sometimes not. So they won't you won't always get four foils, but you'll usually get two foils and two non or something like that. You know, there'll be a split there. Uh, but then they did say there will never be more than three mythics per pack because one of the slots is only gonna have rares in it. So that's something to note that uh, you can definitely get a lot. If you're going for the foil and blinged out versions, obviously this is where you wanna be. You're gonna get 48 rare slash mythics, but you're gonna get a lot of foils in a box and that's for $400. So if you're only focusing on rare slash mythic count, I actually think draft boxes are kind of the worst ones to get. I mean, these ones will be the most widely available. These ones will be reprinted. Now the distribution, whether they're gonna go through Amazon or actually be able to go through the distribution system over the next year, who knows? Uh, throughout the summer, of course, we hope that your local game store will be carrying these readily available for draft and events and things, uh, but they're definitely gonna keep reprinting these. You know, they're gonna go back and, and reprint as much Modern Horizons 2 as possible over the next year. So there's gonna be, you know, if, if there's stages, you know, six months down the road where supply looks to be drying up, they're gonna reprint it again, distribution might just be through Amazon, but you can expect draft booster boxes to be available for probably a year. I mean, maybe that's not the case because they've changed their tune a little bit on that, but with the product of their big summer high dollar set of Modern Horizons 2, they're likely going to print a lot of this. Um, but the draft boxes kind of seem the worst value bang for your buck as far as rare slash mythics, but obviously you get the experience of being able to draft and play limited, which is a lot of fun. Now, if you're more focused on just the blinged out versions, you want to get those retro fray Modern Horizon 1 cards, you want to get the extended arts, you want to get etched foils, obviously that's got to be collector because those are the items that are exclusive to collector boosters, uh, and you are getting, you know, roughly 48 rare slash mythics, but that's going to be $400 a box. So the price per rare slash mythic is really shooting up because the price point is more, because you're gonna get about the same number. You know, you could look to about 45 to 50 rare slash mythics. You know, obviously 45 is kind of on the low end, like for a set booster box, but you're at 270. Like you're two thirds of the price. So it's way cheaper. Uh, and if you don't care about the top end, most foily fancy versions, set boosters look to be the way to go. I hope you guys found this useful. I personally am very excited for this set. I'm excited to play Paper Magic again. I cannot wait. And so excited to go to my LGS and play a pre-release of Modern Horizons 2. What a great way to get back into Paper Magic. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And if you found this useful, share it with a friend. We'll see you next time.